We just showed up. We're here for a couple of days here in Kentucky, River Bend Whitetails. It's turkey season, and we got some nice weather. It ain't but mid 60s, and uh, turkeys ought to be doing their thing today. He'll stay out and strut all day. It's not hot. Cloudy. Cloudy. We're gonna load the gun up, get the cameras ready, and uh, see if we can't get a get one flopping this afternoon. We're here for about three days, so. We got some time to make stuff happen, but they've been laying them down here, and hopefully we can get on one here shortly. Daddy's talking trash. Ain't even got here good. He's talking trash. Load that browning up. You know what happens when I touch a trigger on this browning, don't you? What's that? Get ready to touch it again. This stuff's usually running and flying off. <laughs> come over which is a great tip a lot of times when you're moving you hear an airplane coming over just stop and listen because a lot of times he'll tell you where he's at when that plane comes over you just heard it gobble let me correct that these two fellas just heard it gobble over the top of the hill through there we're going to ease up a little closer try to get him to gobble again and try to come up with a game plan set up on him stick with us come on out here in this field probably about 80 yards in front of us. I scooted the decoy out there the best I could without getting caught. We're going to call to them and see if we can get them to come up this way. I think if they see that decoy, they'll probably come home. We're fixing to find out.
Well, this guy kind of hangs up just out of range, not sure if he sees us or if he just doesn't like the decoy. But it's not very long after he leaves, we get another bird fired up. Well, we're just scratching our heads at this point. We cannot figure out why these birds aren't coming in. They're getting nervous, easing off. Uh, I'm inclined to believe that they are seeing us when they come up there. We're kind of sticking out. Uh, not much cover. You know, we saw, we saw the birds. We had to set up very fast, but we watched the birds. They eased back out into the burn off with some hens. And finally, one of the hens breaks and leads them right back up into the food plot. And they actually come within 20 yards of us. But at this point, it's too late. And we really didn't have anything footage-wise, so Dad elects not to shoot. The birds end up pitching up behind us. We got a good strategy, a game plan for in the morning. We're going to set up at the opposite end of the field, and hopefully they act right in the morning. Well, we got in there early the next morning. We cut us some branches to stack in front of us for cover. We set up in this food plot, hoping these turkeys would fly down in it, give us a good show. Rarely does it work out the way you want it to. This morning, the odds were definitely in our favor.
first bird pitches down and goes right into the burn off behind us. So I give a soft call to the other birds just to let them know we're in this food plot, we're not in that burn off, and it works like a charm. Uh -uh. Hey, they, wow. were, they were back flapping like ducks. <laughs> you got that right. Hey, if that don't get your heart to racing, you need to go get your blood pressure checked. Because the show had mine thumping. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. We're here in Kentucky. It never been white tails. Got a bird down. Couldn't be more tickled. We was hunting yesterday evening. We got on several different birds. Things just didn't transpire. It's kind of a bad setup. But we just kind of stuck with it. And we had three or four gobblers roosted right here. So we slipped back in here real, real early this morning. Got the decoy set up. 
and that's a great tip. If you're gonna slip right in on one, let's say 100 yards and get in that bubble, you better be early. Because if you're not, you're gonna get caught. You got any spurs? Huh? You got any spurs? He ain't too shabby. Hold him up. Let me look. Let me, let me get the shot of him. He ain't too shabby. Hold him still. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. I'll take that sucker right there. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah, I can't Thank you so much. Just a great place here at River Bend. Turkeys everywhere. Five star. Just incredible experience. Recommend it for anybody. Just an incredible hunt. I couldn't be more tickled. What I tell you is gonna happen to Jake when I put him out there. Cool. <laughs> hey, that one looked like a 747 when you say on past his it? I said every one of them's gonna do it. I said you'd ride his rain, but the others they come in here with the back flapping like ducks. Packed on the gum decoy out there. I don't know if they broke the stake or not. I'm gonna go up there and assess the damage. You got it. I done assessed this damage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, he's back flapping when they hit the dirt. Look, I thought he was going to do a front flip. He went, Whoa. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to give him a dirt nap. <laughs>